Ah, okay. Uh, now we're going to start uh, this webinar. And okay, the first I want to tell you a little bit um, our schedule, what I will tell you today. Um, first, I want to tell you that um, today uh, we don't handle the very exact details about the installations or um, very exact technical details. Mostly, I want to show you some kind of overhaul about the dynamic devices in the agriculture and the forestry business. And we go through the some product categories and the short presentations and some nice videos and some example photos, different kind of applications, how you can use the dynamic devices in the agriculture, forestry, and, and of course, this same applications you can use it everywhere you can whatever whatever you want to do so like in the hyper what applications and the electricity applications of course you can do it uh, and they use it everywhere but let's go Okay, uh, the first, I want to tell you um, very shortly about uh, our dynamic equipment in a nutshell, uh, what we are and what we do. So, I think so, you everybody already know that the uh, devices are powered by hydraulics and uh, why what we want to do improves, so improves your work machine, more efficiency, efficiency more versatility, and as I say, all of the powered by hydraulics, so it means that you don't need any separate engine or because uh, your power source is uh, your base method. Whatever you have a tractor, you have a harvester, you have some excavator, mini mini tractor, mini excavator. You can find the hydraulic systems from all that kind of methane. So this is your power source, so you don't need anything special. And today, uh, what we will handle so is uh, we will talk about uh, about the electricity and uh, of course the welding current hydraulic welders then uh, some high pressure water applications washers street cleaners um, submersible pumps mm, drain pipe cleaning devices some words also about the uh, air compressors and grinders and as I say, mostly some special applications what we can offer for the um, agriculture and the forestry business. And then uh, we already start. I already told you some um, very important facts about the uh, devices. Why Dynatec is better than others? Okay, first we can say uh, the best power and size ratio. So it means that we are very compact size very reliability, uh, very high reliability because uh, we everybody know that the hydraulic itself, hydraulic systems are very reliable. Then uh, we talk about the mobile devices. So it's always with you, wherever you go, whatever you do. Uh, example of a hydraulic generator, if it's installed in your tractor or your, or your harvester or some other working machines, it's always with you when you need the uh, electricity on your work site. Maybe you go somewhere middle of forest or middle of your field. You you have to use some power tools. Electricity is always available in there wherever you go with your base machine. And I already told you that um, with the dynamic devices you don't need a separate engine because uh, your base machine it's it's your power source. You use your base machine's hydraulic system and it's uh, and dynamic device convert it for electricity, for welding current, compressed air, high pressure water. That's it. So it's a, it's a very smart solution also for the for farming and uh, forestry work. Then I already uh, I wrote there that the maintenance free. Okay. All kind of technical equipment need some maintenance sometimes. But as I say, hydraulic driven sample generators or air compressors, it's almost maintenance free. And uh, all kind of <coughs> sorry, uh, all kind of maintenance, what you have to do is uh, it's very easy to do. You don't need any special tools. 
We always use the, just uh, all of the bolts and nuts and everything. It's a, just standard. And then when you have that kind of device installed in your tractor or your harvester, you can save it time. You can save money, effort, space. Because uh, as I already told you, you have a your dance device. It's always with you. You don't need to go to rental shop, and you don't need the rental generator if you have to working example in the middle of the forest or some rural area. Your generator is always with you. And also very important when you have a dance device in your base machine, it's in increase your productivity, efficiency, and of course, uh, value of your base machine. I'm sure that the dynamic device can increase value of your base machine. And here is uh, um, some examples what we will handle today. So first we will talk about the uh, hydraulic generators, so electricity then, also the hydraulic uh, welding generators and then some uh, hybrid water applications stuff like uh, hybrid washers, street cleaners, um, drain line washers, submersible pumps and of course a little bit about the air compressors and the grinders. All of these are um, very basic machines and everybody know what you do with generator, what you can do with compressor, what you can do with grinder. But today, uh, my focus is to tell you just some tips and uh, some ideas how you can use the dynamic device just in your farm or just in your um, forest business. This is uh, our schedule for this webinar. And then um, we can say some words about um, what you can do with the dinosaur devices in agriculture or in a forestry or everywhere, all kind of work sites. Okay, you need the uh, power tools, you need the lightning. Okay, the right solution is a hydraulic generator. You Sometimes you have to welding. You, you can choose a hydraulic welder. Okay, sometimes if you are in a rural area, uh, still today some kind of uh, electric brakes are, it happens all the time. So it could be also some kind of backup power. Put your tractor or harvester engine on, start up your hydraulic generator so you have your own small power plant in your garden just because so you can take power enough for your house or maybe for your cow house or bakery wherever you need the uh, electricity if you have some uh, electric break on your area and then okay always when we working in our farms or in the forest sometimes it's a very dirty and uh, we everybody know that your your machine and you you are like in a business card in your business so Always you have to wash your working machines and also it, uh, it makes very good for your machine. It's a much more long, long lead when you wash your devices uh, frequently. So it's very important. Then uh, sever drain and pipeline washings. We have all, uh, already application for this. We call this a PPL uh, pipeline, pipeline cleaning device and then water and sludge pumps sometimes you have to pump uh, lots of the water you have to fill up to some pump uh, tanks uh, sludge pumping uh, when you have to remove a sludge from a tank dancer device is also perfect solution for this also uh, maybe someone thinking that the uh, where i can use the air compressor in your farm so uh, nowadays, uh, example, the pneumatic tools are very common and are very powerful. So with the dynamic hydro compressors, you can take a power to your uh, pneumatic tools and always sometimes you have to fill up your tires. So many applications, uh, compressed air also 
very good when you have to remove uh, after harvest time, like in a harvester when you make a harvest. Uh, um, there's so dust everywhere, so it's very easy to remove with the compressed air. Then some other cleaning the roads and the cleaning uh, your cow houses or piggeries. So many applications. Okay, the first we can see uh, this is a very nice video uh, and uh, we can see uh, how you can convert your basic uh, mini tractor. It's a real multi-purpose tractor. Uh, you can see whatever you can do. Um, this gentleman here is already installed there. There's a high pressure washer and uh, here's a compressor also. Please see. As you can see in here, uh, this gentleman takes the power or hydraulic power from his uh, mini tractor. Now he uses uh, HK450 uh, hydraulic compressor. Uh, capacity is 450 liter per minute, so he can use very easily also uh, pneumatic tools. Okay, uh, now uh, we go to the first part of uh, um, product category what we will go through today. I already told you some words about the hydraulic generators and uh, now a little bit more information what we do. So uh, we have a huge range to hydraulic gener generators and um, which are suitable for everywhere in the world. So uh, basically we can share it in the 50 hertz models and then 60 hertz models. So it's a of the European countries and the most of the Asia, we use the 50 hertz systems. And then if we go to Japan, Korea, United States, here we need the 60 hertz model. So we can use the we manufacturing for both of models. So as I say, 60 hertz and 50 hertz models. And um, the hydraulic generators models starting from a exactly from one kilowatt DC generator and AC generators uh, starting from 3.5 kVA as a single phase and then it's going up to 80 kVA three phase generators but when we talk about the generators in the agriculture or farming um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, sorry, um, I think so. Uh, you know, most of cases, uh, 10, 12, 15 kVA is enough. So then you have the there uh, one single phase, 240, example in the 50 hertz models, and also uh, 400 volts um, and a three phase electricity available there. And we can uh, equip uh, our generators, as you can see on those photos, number two, three. There's uh, already a uh, sockets for single phase, and also this uh, red one is a three phase socket. And all of these are available also for uh, 60 hertz generators, which are designed for um, US, Japan, Korean markets, and um, Saudi Arabia, example. Okay, um, some examples of what you can do. Um, with your um, hydraulic generator when it's uh, with you and installed on your working machines. Okay, on those photos, there's a mini excavator and then some kind of lifter, but the idea is uh, always same. On this gentleman on the left side, he has a small uh, 6.5 kVA, three phase and single phase um, hydraulic generator installed on the um, excavator. So he can use uh, power tools, of course, of course, uh, if you're working in a thumb where's no daylight enough, so you can make lights and whatever. Example of the power tools is a very good example. And there, on the right side, this gentleman who's working in there, uh, you know, somewhere in a high level, so um, he using some power tools and also he has uh, some extra lights because it's just normal. Example in here in Scandinavia, when we start our autumn and the winter time, we have always dark, so the extra lighting we need in everywhere. 
Okay, now we go uh, back to urban area from your farm. So here's also one a very nice video about um, how the dynamite the hydro generator works on your work site. As you can see again, you can do it this by hand manually and tools, but it's much more easier to do with the power tools. Okay, and um, anytime if you have some question, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. You can say just I have a question or also you can use the chat. You can send the questions to the chat and uh, I can answer to your questions if I can. Hope so I can, if you have questions. Okay, now we continue uh, also uh, electricity, but now we have uh, another device. Now we talk about uh, Dynaset HWG welding generators. Okay, uh, it looks uh, quite the same like a um, basic hydraulic generator, but uh, now we have a hy uh, hydraulic welding generators on this slide. So basically, uh, we have uh, about eight basic models available, and for also for 50 hertz and 60 hertz, and all of these uh, HWT welding generators, including also uh, generators. So. As you can see, like in the picture A on the left side, uh, there you can see this um, yellow or gold core sockets. You connect your welding cables there. And um, below of this, there's a blue socket. It mean there's a single, single phase electricity available in a European models, 230 volts. And the right side, the um, red color socket you have also a three phase electricity available there. So it's a it's very nice integrated device that uh, I mean that uh, you have a two device, but the only one, uh, one machine like you have a welder and also you have a generator in the same package. And as I say, we have uh, about uh, eight basic models available. So four models for uh, European markets and the four models for the United States, Saudi, Korea, and Japan markets, which are 60 Hertz. This generator side is a 60 Hertz. And uh, now if I say some examples about these European models, so it's the uh, smallest one, it's a uh, HVW 180. So it means like in uh, 100, uh, maxim maximum welding current is 180 amps. 10 HWG220, the maximum welding current is 220 amps, then 300 amps and a 400 amps. And a for um, um, agriculture, forestry business, um, what you can do with that kind of uh, arc welding device. Okay, sometimes you have to um, make some um, repair weldings uh then th this is the perfect solution for this if you have uh, some uh, steel plates or some beams what you have to connect by welder example uh, for um, um, hwg 180 you can use the maximum rod thickness is about uh, about 3.5 millimeters and the uh, exact information you can uh, download the uh, user manual and um, data sheets from our web page www.dynaset.com there it's, um, you can see more detailed information and also you can take contact to us anytime if you have some questions about the uh, Dynaset devices. Here is uh, some, um, what I say, some nice examples. Okay, there's on uh, left side, this gentleman uh, making uh, some pi uh, pipeline or fixing some pipeline in some rural area and he has a hydraulic welder so he can um, make a welding and connect the pipes together and the right side we are in the middle of the forest and this gentleman have to do some kind of uh, repair for his machine in the middle of forest so this is a very smart on that kind of cases okay you have small breakdown maybe some um, 
<clears throat> some weld is already scratched on your machine or your uh, or some of your tool and you are on your work site maybe 10 20 kilometers or 10 miles from your workshop so it takes one day maybe one and a half day if you have to carry on your base machine out of your work site and go to workshop so but when you have a, that kind of a hydraulic welder which one is always with you so you can make that kind of small small uh, repair works just on your work site no need to stop your work and then lose your time one or two days if you have to go to workshop as i say earlier that kind of dynamic devices you can save money this is a very good example you can imagine uh, how much it cost if you have to stop your work a small breakdown then you have to arrange the transport for your harvester machine in middle of the forest maybe it takes a couple of days before one day you are in a work arrive to workshop and then okay maybe that kind of repair work in workshop it takes only maybe five or ten minutes but you have already lost your time one or two days and how much it means some money because you can do anything the same job you can do it on your work site with the hydraulic welder maybe 10 minutes and that's it you can continue your work <clears throat> and here we can see again one more video this is a very good example how you can use your hydra hydraulic welder on your on your work site when you are example in a rural area Hey Thomas, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you. Yeah, just a question with the welding application. Yeah. Um, I guess it's pretty important to keep the current and the voltage constant from the genset to achieve the right quality of welding. Uh, yeah. How, yes, sorry. How do you how do you achieve that uh, that constant? Um, I guess for the gen genset to produce constant current and voltage, you need to you need to control the hydraulic uh, rotation speed and um, and the pressure uh, to give it a consistent performance. So how how, how does this how does the the Dana set manages in that you know the equipment that you've got? Okay, uh, this is a very good question. And uh, uh, okay, uh, we can control. It, so okay, we have uh, some. Um, uh, uh hydraulic requirements for all and all of the dynamic devices so it means like in a, like in a small more small uh, single phase generator is um nominal oil flow is um about a 20 liter per minute or 17 liter per minute and then uh sometimes in like in a big tractor or big harvester excavator the oil flow which one is available is much more but uh we have a system in our hydraulic motor so we can control this oil flow and the pressure so we can keep it in stable so it means that like in the electricity or welding current is all the time uh, quality is the same and it's a very high quality and um, it's maximum plus minus in the electricity on the generators is maximum plus minus five percent what it can change so it's a much better, much better quality electricity what you can get from your sockets in your house and also in my house. Okay. Now, just on that, uh, you're saying that if the machine is producing more flow than what the, elect the hydraulic motor needs it on the unit, where is the rest of the flow direct diverted to? Is it through like some sort of a valve over or is it over the relief valve or how does that work yes okay yeah we have our label like in the for most of the dynamic devices we can uh, make a some we call it add-on wall so it's already integrated uh to hydro uh, dynamic device or then we have a wide range all kind of installation walls example the priority walls pressure compensators flow limiters so it's a um, I think so we can always, whatever kind of machine you have, we can find a good solution for your machine. 
and if they know what kind of a hydraulic system you have in your machine. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, the next uh, category, what we will go through is um, HPW hypersaw water pumps. So it's a uh, uh, HPW pumps are the, the piston pumps. So there is no any rotating parts. So it means that they're extremely reliable, almost service free, de service free device. So I can tell you, um, something nice it's happened a couple of years ago so one of our loyal customer was about the hpw 200 pump um, <coughs> sorry uh, 1996 and after about after 20 years uh he bought the first time the new seals for this pump uh it means that the, then you can imagine how reliable this is and also um we're supplying our our hypersub pumps for um, uh, some of the, our customers who work in extremely heavy conditions, like in the subsea and the oil and gas industry, mining industry, and so that kind of customers trust us. So we can be very proud about that. That Dynaset HPW pumps are probably the best in the world. Uh, the size is so compact. On the right side of this uh, slide, you can see this. Um, golden and um, blue color pump it's uh, our model hpw 250 so it makes a uh, two maximum 250 bar pressure and uh, regarding this um very compact size the size is th this pump the weight is uh, about the 10 kilograms a little bit less and the size is about like in you know, the one liter milk cartoon so everywhere you can install it almost everywhere in your tractor your harvester or whatever kind of machine you have and then you have a, a hyper so water available always okay where you have a water you can use it and also it's a very smart if we are just like in a rural areas you can use it also hpw pumps in there because the <clears throat> water quality it is not so important if you have a right type of a water filter so you can take the water directly from the sea from the lakes Wherever you have a water, so you can use it with the um, Dynaset Hypersurf water pumps. <clears throat> and here is uh, some example photos again as uh, what you can do with the Dynaset uh, HPW Hypersurf washers. On you know, the left side, we are on the cow house or piggery somewhere. This gentleman there make a. I know I'm not a farmer, I'm not a professional about the farming, but the. Uh, as you can see there, that kind of place is uh, sometimes very dirty and uh, uh, nowadays it's very important your um, animals, your cows, your pigs, your chickens, whatever you have there, they also have to feel well and all of the animals feel much well when they can live in a clean environment. And like this smart guy on this left side, he cleaning his cow house frequently and uh, I'm sure his cows are also very happy. And then the uh, right side, another gentleman was seeing uh, he has uh, some uh, dirt and mud on his uh, on his uh, asphalt, and uh, he want to remove it. And uh, with the uh, with hyper so water like in a two hundred bar, like in the Dynaset uh, HPW two hundred or two fifty pump, it's very easy to do. And also this gentleman using the same small, very small uh, mini tractor. This is uh, his power source. Okay, um, myself, I'm about uh, itself. Me, I'm um, uh, RSS manager. I take care of uh, markets in Asia, and sometimes I have seen some very nice applications around the world. Like on you know, this left side, this is one of our customer from Malaysia. Um, uh, he making you know, some kind of disinfied or some um, spraying uh, against for bugs. This is some garden. And okay, of course, that kind of applications, the first thing, uh, safety first always. So be uh, be sure that if you spraying some chemicals, that there's no animals, no human in this area. And uh, be sure how you use that kind of chemicals. Uh, but uh, the point is that uh, you can use 
the Dynasit HPW pumps also for chemicals. It's not the issue. So most of the chemicals you can use it, but uh, if you are not sure, you can ask always from us. And the right side, um, this is a little bit of special application about uh, high pressure water. There's uh, some uh, sludge tank, and then uh, he has there. Okay, I'm from like, there's no wheels <laughs> on this trailer, but uh, he has um, on the right side there. There's a bigger hose reel. He has uh, some uh, pipe cleaning device, PPL, and, and the left side there is a small hose reel. Uh, has a washing pistol and he can make washing and also the pipe cleaning with the same trailer and also it's a sludge tank also and here are some short video about um, I say how you can use uh, how you can use uh, Dynset PPL um, pipe cleaning or drain line cleaning devices Definitely video quality is not so good, but uh, you can see the idea what you do. He has the right type of uh, drain line washing nozzle, so it's, uh, the holes go through the drain line itself and it clean it and clean it at the same time. So this is a very smart and a very useful also everywhere in your farm or wherever you are and also in the urban areas as you can see here and also hydraulic hole free so very easy to use also the very long, with the very long hoses and then uh, one more very good example uh, photo okay it's a quite a old but there's a, just a um, basic installation for a four-wheel driver tractor so there's a KPL uh, street cleaning device so you can use of course you can clean the streets and also why not your cow house your piggery or whatever you have to clean some surfaces in your farm and when we start we already start talk about this uh, KPL devices so it's a I can show you some example example installations how you can do it and uh, what this include that kind of device okay the left side there's a basic model okay apl street cleaning device with water tank and also in the right side there's a in the picture number one you can see it there on the from the side what it looks like and then uh picture number two there's a little bit of different there the water tank and the whole reel uh, and the washing gun it is on the rear, rear side of the tractor and only this um, washing the street cleaning washing pipe and the frame is in the front side of the tractor and then picture number three one more is uh, okay you can put only the um, house reel the back side and then you have a uh, your own dryer which one is for also the water tank for the street cleaners and then uh photo number four okay the same idea it means that uh, you can um put your hose reel wherever you want to just leave only this um the frame and the uh, washing pipe nozzle pipe in the front of your tractor and uh, you can use whatever kind of um uh, water tank you want and here is a much better picture and example about the uh, four-wheel drive tractor with the street cleaning device and the um, water tank location is on the rear side of the tractor so. and here is our uh, street cleaning devices kpl always include also the was hose reel and the washing pistol so it's a uh, you have a hyper washer and the street cleaner in the same package in here, uh, this gentleman used a 220 bar, so it's a, as you can see, it's a very powerful and uh, always, in this case, also have to remove the safety first. 220 bar is already, it's a very dangerous uh, if you don't know how to use it. Okay, at the thumb, a couple of words, some uh, special application about uh, high pressure water. So also the sand blasting is possible 
with our HPW pumps. And here is a, you can see by self, and here is a, the car restoration is uh, going on and the old paint have to remove from the plates and uh, this gentleman using a um, HPW 200 or 250 pump and uh, with the sand blasting device so he can re remove a paint. So it means that you spray the water and the um, sand mixture, and then you can remove the pint very easily. And one more very nice video and a nice application. We live in here in Scandinavia. Sometimes we have a very hot winter, and sometimes you want to remove ice from somewhere. So in here, you can see how you can do it also with the high pressure washer. And here we are, someone's in the summer cottage and there's a lot of the ice and it's very slippery and dangerous walking there. So it's a, one more idea is so how you can use with your hyper washer. And then also, uh, I think so, this is uh, one of the best dinosaur products for the, just for the farmers and for, for agriculture business. We call this um, HPW Mobile. It's um, just kind of plug and play package. So everything include. So there's a, a hyper water pump, suction hose with the water filter, hyper water pump, washing pistol with the nozzle and hydraulic hoses. So all what you have to do, connect the hydraulic hoses to your base machine, whatever truck to harvester, whatever you have there, or maybe you have a, some hydraulic power pack there and then connect to suction hose to your water source. And you can rem uh, you have to remember that um, the Dynasty HPW pumps uh, can suck water uh, itself uh, up to three meters. So it's uh, also you can, uh, if you have a water, um, water tank somewhere else, so, so it sucks water easily up to three meters. And then, uh, for our uh, high pressure uh, water pumps, we have a huge selection of all kinds of accessories from uh, left to right. Okay, the hose reels with hoses or without hoses, suction hoses with filters, carrying frames. And in the middle of the photo, this is a, uh, this is a sand blasting tool for uh, HPW pumps, washing pistols, nozzles, and the water filters. I already told you that uh, it's very important to use the water filter. So always use the water filter with the, when you use the Dynasty HPW pump. So then your pump will be a very long age and um, sand or some small particles don't destroy your pump or seals of your pump. <clears throat> and then one more per category about uh, high pressure water. Okay, maybe this is not so high pressure water, but still a uh, hydraulic driven uh, submersible pumps. So this is also um, already uh, very popular in um, agriculture around the world. And also we everybody know, I think so, what is the submersible pump? So it's, uh, I don't need to explain how it works. The basically, it's a just hydraulic motor. There's a hydraulic motor which running the pump, and you can remove a big amounts of water very easily from one place to other place or fill up your tank. And then what we have, uh, if you compare like in um, a traditional electrical uh, submersible pump, okay, we everybody know like in the what kind of. Um, Mm, hazard it would be uh, if you have an electrical submersible pump and uh, you put it in uh, some water tank or to the lake it could be very dangerous so safety first also and the capacity uh, when we if we talk about the power of a uh, dynasty hsp pump so uh, the smallest one is a uh, hsp 600 so about the 600 liter per minute up to five meter and the biggest one what we have is a 20 cubic meter per minute up to five meters so like in a small water tanks one two cubic meters 
what attacks you can uh, fill up in a few seconds. Of course, it depends what kind of HSP pump you have. So and also actually, uh, HSP pumps also, it's very easy to use, just almost plug and play. Check your base machine hydraulic flow and pressure. If necessary, use the, some uh, flow limiters or pressure, pressure compensators and then go on, let burn. Here we can see in this video, just on this form, um, fill up his uh, one cubic, uh, maybe two cubic meter or one cubic meter um, water tank with the HSP 600 pump. Okay, uh, if we have uh, this HSP 600 pump there and you fill up that kind of um, that kind of um, one cubic meter tank, so it takes only about one, one minute, 30 seconds, so it's, a, it's very fast with the full power, but um, maybe you don't need to use the full power if you are not so busy. Okay, work is done now. And close your water source and your water tank is filled. And one more, okay, now we come back again from a uh, countryside back to rural area, uh, from an uh, urban area. And uh, some, uh, we can see a little bit more, some kind of ideas how you can use the HSP submersible pumps. So that kind of uh, deep excavation, it's a full of the water, it's very easy to make it empty. Now we use, I think so this is a HSP 1500, so you can uh, pump about uh, two cubic meters per minute. I promise that uh, today we did, uh, we don't see any exact installation or um, technical information, but uh, this is what I want to tell you, so how simple it is to do so this is just a basic installation for a hydraulic submersible pump okay it, uh, it's, it's the same idea for all other devices so most of the tractors and the uh, harvesters and uh, all kind of uh, uh, heavy equipment you have already some kind of a tool line so extra hydraulic connection so then you just uh, connect your dinosaur device there and that's it you have a control valves there, uh, number three, so you maybe you can add just the flow and the pressure of your tool line, so then you don't need anything else, any extra. That's all what you need. It's very easy to do. Some more, what, some more um, examples what we have to do in the Scandinavia, especially in the springtime when the snow and the ice melt. We have sometimes we have uh, water everywhere so much. And then one more product category is um, hydraulic compressors. Basically, we have uh, three basic type of compressors in the, from left to right. It's uh, piston compressors, 450 liter per minute and 1000 liter per minute. Then uh, rotary weight compressors up to 7.5 cubic meter per minute. And then uh, screw compressors up to, up to uh, 11,000 cubic meter per minute. Uh, just some examples what you can do, okay, draw a hammer and just a uh, power for the pneumatic tools. And here can is uh, one, okay, this is not uh, from the farm or forest, but that this is a very nice application as uh, what you can do with the uh, air compressors. Here, okay, that kind of work. You can do it if uh, without if you are like in a tire change for the tractor. Maybe you can do it with the hand tools, but it could be uh, quite difficult and very, very, very hard work. So it's much more easy to do it with when you have a compressor and a generator. You can do it uh, almost everywhere. So now. It's done and every, everybody is happy. A little bit more, some nice photos about the Tesla one uh, rotary weight compressor installed on top of the some uh, linen tractor. And here is also the real farming application. This this video is uh, from Germany. 
this farmer I think so maybe grow the wine or something but he has a uh, pneumatic pneumatic cutter so there's a dinosaur hk for hk 450 a compression gives the power for this pneumatic uh, cutter or pneumatic scissors what he use uh, when he make uh, some uh, work in here so i think so this is a wine farm i'm not sure maybe olive trees also could be also yes and then um the last product category but i want to tell you a little bit for the farmers and the people who are working with the agriculture so, okay we everybody know like the grinders so we have our available uh, dancet hhk uh, hydraulic grinders so very smart and uh, very smart ma machine very easy to install all kind of tractors harvester or whatever you have and the uh, just you can use the standard uh, brimstones and uh, what i can say we everybody no need to tell you where you can use the grinders so, so you can use it everywhere when you have to have to sharpening some hand tools or you have to whatever you have to create so that kind of uh, grinders it's also very small and compact so it's very you have always space if you want to install the dinosaur at hk okay. green dance and <clears throat> the one of the last slides this is a um, very uh, very nice picture from our company and uh, from a dinosaur and you can see it's uh, we can be everywhere we can be in a forest we can be in the city um, in urban areas we can be in um, mines everywhere you can meet us and we have uh, hundreds of and hundreds of the solutions to everywhere and now if you have some questions please it's time to ask uh, i've got one thomas if that's okay yeah yeah, yeah please ask yeah so uh, i think uh, yeah the product range you have is very unique and very very um practical and yeah such a good good sort of a product and application um is there any other sort of a product out there in the market which is similar to uh you, you know what you do like the hydraulic driven compressors and gen sets and all that sort of stuff or you guys are pretty unique in that area uh, sorry uh what you said i can't hear well uh what you said the last <clears throat> Oh, so my question was, is it, uh, so who's your main competitor um, in this sort of a space doing similar products that Dynaset does? Yeah, mostly I think so. Our main competitors are this uh, big, um, big uh, machine manufacturers who make enough construction equipment, heavy equipment, tractors and that kind of device, because uh, most of them, they are nowadays, they have uh, own products. Um, many com many brands they offer also uh, not a similar but uh, quite a similar or equivalent uh, devices for customers because nowadays the many customers they, uh, if you, they buy like you know, some heavy equipment or some tractor for the farm uh, customers want much more just the basic tractor is not enough you maybe you want just compressor you need a generator you need the submersible pumps or many other kind of devices so Nowadays, many big brands also they offer all um, quite similar products. Okay, and they, do they use Dynasets? Um, uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Yes. Yeah, yes and no. So we, yeah, we have also um, OEM for many big brands around the world. Yeah, yeah, because that would be nice. Because obviously they don't need. I mean, those companies don't need to design their own, you know, a solution when you already got a good solution out in the market. Uh, should use this yeah no pretty interesting and look i've been in hydraulic industry for many years but yeah I'm surprisingly i haven't actually come across all these uh, different products that you do and uh yeah it'll be good to kind of uh, learn a bit more and yeah hopefully uh you know offer this to our customers yeah you're yeah, right this uh dancer devices are very smart and uh, nowadays we can say uh, we are almost unique but of course, we have competitors around the world, and uh, as I say, and, uh, but uh, still, I think so. We are probably the best in the world on this sector. What we do.
Yeah, we can, be very, we can be very proud about that all of the products are made in Finland. So it's, uh, we don't compete about the prices. So we want to produce a very high quality products for our customers. Yep, yep. No, very good presentation. And yeah, no, thanks for your time and taking my questions. Thank you. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, uh, now it's uh, we live about uh, midsummer. So now I have to say thank you for your attention and uh, to say uh, very nice and hot and very fun summer for everyone. And uh, we can see this last video. And uh, I say goodbye for everyone and see you next time. Do 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 do